The Boys and Girls Club of Greater Waterbury has some pretty exciting things going on. They've been operating for 127 years and they've recently named their Youth of the Year. There she is. Natalia Arroyo, there's also a big party going on. So we have some special guests with us today. Karen Senich, the executive director of the club. Natalia herself is here and Manny Martinez, the director of operations. Guys, thanks so much for taking the time out to be here. Um, Karen, let's start with you and talk about Youth of the Year. What was the criteria? The Youth of the Year um, looks at, we of course at the Boys and Girls Club focus on academic success. So we look at the academics of each um, participant, each applicant. Um, the, she has to be a member of the club for over two years. Mm -hmm. um, they fill out applications where they ask, answer a lot of questions about themselves and their aspirations. And they write a speech where, and they present it to the judges and the judges interview them. So it's a lot about their application and the forms that they filled out where mm -hmm. they talk about themselves, but their presentation and their speech and their personality, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. And you took the top honors. Congratulations, <laughs> Natalia. Uh, what did you write about? What were some of the, uh, the essays you had to talk about? I talked about my club experience, mm -hmm. my personal brand, and my vision for America, for the community's youth. Sure. Uh, and how long have you been going to the club for? Two years now. And what really stands out for you? It's very comfortable. The staff is very welcoming, and it's just, it's homey. It's like another family for me. Fantastic. And you have a lot of brothers and sisters, though, too, yes. right? <laughs> so you help out at home as well? Yes. You do. That's great. Um, so talk to me about nationals. There's another step to this competition. Yes. My next step is next week I will be taking a two-day trip to Bristol Boys and Girls Club mm -hmm. and then to the capital of Hartford for my next competition. Wow. Are you prepared? You got it down? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> You're working I'm excited. That's fantastic. Uh, Manny, it's been a, an exciting couple months for the yes. Boys and Girls Club of Greater yes. Waterbury. A lot of renovations going on. Yes. Tell us about the makeover. Uh, it's, been, it's been a great um, part for just our community and also our kids taking pride in something new. Uh, we've had a, a great opportunity to showcase what we offer mm -hmm. uh, with a brand new gymnasium, a, a brand new roof over our head. Um, new lockers, new bathrooms, so, uh, you know, new carpets. It's been uh, an opportunity for the kids to really, like I said, take pride in what we have Fantastic. and what we have to offer. And we have a couple pictures we'll put up on the screen so you can see exactly uh, what we're looking at here. So, Natalia, this was the night you won, right, and the other ladies that uh, were involved in the competition? Yes. Very good. Manny, you had the, the honors here. You were... I did. I was, I was uh, uh, MC for the night, so <laughs> it, was, it was a great event. Um, we had four phenomenal young ladies, and we actually had last year's Youth of the Year winner, which also um, was up for again this year. Very good. And then uh, we'll advance the pictures. And this is summer camp? Summer camp, yes. We offer a summer program as well. And this is some shots of the kids at the Connecticut Science Center. Wow, how fun you go on field trips. I love that. Hey, I know that guy. <laughs> That's Brandon. He helps yes, out. He, uh, he does. He was, he was stopping by, wanted to play some pool with the kids, and uh, he had a blast that day. <laughs> That's awesome. Day in the game room. This is one of our mentoring graduation parties that we had also last year uh, with the kids, and uh, the kids uh, were able to get some healthy snacks, one of our programs that we offer at the club. Very good. So, Karen, there's a big party happening on Thursday night. It's the 34th annual awards dinner. Give us the details. That's right. It's Thursday night. It starts at 5.30. The program will start sharply at 6, as you know. As and Gil and I are emceeing, we're so excited year. to be part of this uh, at the, the Bella Vista. Still That's some right. tickets available? There's still some tickets available. We'd like everybody to join us. It's um, in Waterbury, 5.30, and as you know, we have a tight schedule that will run 6 to 8 p.m. <laughs> and um, we're honoring some pretty terrific community members in the city of Waterbury, and we give out five scholarships. That's fantastic. Yeah, it should be a very exciting night. We have an opportunity to see you there, Natalia. You'll be there? We hope yes. so. <laughs> yeah. Very good. But, uh, and, and Karen, if you'll just give us the mission of the club. The mission is, of the club is really to serve the youth that need us most. Mm -hmm. And um, we strive for academic success, healthy lifestyles, and good character and citizenship. And everything we do is, is really built around that. We're a safe environment for our kids who come to the club. How old are they? How, when do they start? Um, kindergarten through seniors in high school. Wow. That's right. So it's safe, it's fun, mm -hmm. um, and we are really focusing on positive youth development. Very good. And where can we find some more information about the club? You can go on to BC, B G C G W G W. B, let's try it. Well, let's do it. B G C G Water yeah, dot org. Right. Yes, we'll find it yes, there, yes. and we'll find some information about the event as well. Guys, thanks so much. Looking forward to Thursday night. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.